lot of cars on the planet have notoriously slow as bug. So then you're going to convert it to electric. I mean, who's going to want to drive a car that slow? So you're probably asking, how fast is this thing? Please. The meter's spinning the wrong way. The way to say it would be it's spinning the right way and putting power back into the grid. So as you can see, I just leave it in third gear all the time. Don't even use the clutch. And just give it some throttle and go. And it's a lot faster than any bug you've ever seen. A lot quieter. All you can hear is the tires and the wind, which I never even realized was quite so loud. This is the main thing I drive. It gets infinity miles per gallon. Let me show you. Let me show you where it all happens. Again, what's this? Replace the engine, the gas guzzling internal combustion engine with this electric motor. It's a net gain warp 9 and it has ridiculous amounts of torque. I have a Soliton 1 1000 amp controller. Right here we have the gauge. This is the brain of everything that shows, first of all, how many volts we have left. Optimally, when I'm done charging, it has about 144, and I'm down to 139 because I've driven about 30 miles. This is where you refill, right in here. Just plug this in. Uh, the charger will accept a J1772, which can use the high power chargers, but I found it a lot more versatile to just have a common household current plug. It takes a little longer to charge, but it's more versatile. I can plug it in anywhere. Back here we have 26 of the 42 160 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. And there you have it.